Hello everybody and welcome back to the Gospel Teachings of Richard Arlen Kern. Uh, today we're going to be talking about wisdom. Christians are to acquire knowledge and wisdom. Wise definition. Having the ability to make a right decision or judgment by applying intelligent thought to a wide range of experience and knowledge with prudence, shrewd or clever in the management of practical affairs. Job chapter 28 verse 28, and he said to man, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil, is understanding. The book of Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13, blessed or happy is the man that finds wisdom and is rich in prudence. Proverbs chapter 8 verses 10 through 12 and 17. Receive my instruction and not money. Choose knowledge rather than gold, for wisdom is better than all the most precious things, and whatsoever may be desired cannot be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell in counsel, and am present in learned thoughts. I love them that love me, and they that in the morning early watch for me shall find me. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 16. Get wisdom, because it is better than gold, and purchase prudence, for it is more precious than silver. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 22. Knowledge is a fountain of life to him that possesses it. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 16. What does it avail a fool to have riches, seeing he cannot buy wisdom? Proverbs chapter 18, verse 15. A wise heart shall acquire knowledge. And the ear of the wise seeks instruction. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 21. The righteous heart seeks after knowledge. The book of wisdom chapter 4 verse 19. They, or the wicked, shall be in sorrow, and their memory shall perish. Ecclesiasticus chapter 10 verses 21 through 22. God has abolished the memory of the proud, and has preserved the memory of them that are humble in mind. Pride was not made for men, nor wrath for the race of women. Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 13 For as wisdom is a defense, so money is a defense. But learning and wisdom excel in this, that they give life to him that possesses them. The book of Isaiah chapter 28 verse 9 Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand the hearing? Book of Daniel, chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, 6 and 17. And the king, Nebuchadnezzar, spoke to Esphenes, the master of the eunuchs, that he should bring in some of the children of Israel. Children, skillful in all wisdom, acute in knowledge, and instructed in science, that he might teach them the learning and the tongue of the Chaldeans. Now there were among them of the children of Judah, Daniel, and Ananias, Mysel, and Azarias. And to these children God gave knowledge and understanding in every book and wisdom, but to Daniel the understanding also of all visions and dreams. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 5. But if any of you, in wanting in wisdom, let him ask it of God, but who gives abundantly to all men and does not reproach, and it will be given to him. So if you ask for wisdom, and you seek wisdom through knowledge, then you will receive it. You have to ask the Lord in Jesus' name, and he will grant you wisdom. You have to seek wisdom, but if you ask, you shall receive. That is what Jesus says and promises us. Um, I wanted to find this verse. Proverbs 1, 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And I have as uh, the description or the about underneath the channel um, it says the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom, which is from this verse. Um, that is what is on my grandfather's headstone, and it very much describes him and the way he lived his life. Um, it is true, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. It's what teaches us what wisdom truly is, not earthly wisdom, but biblical spiritual wisdom um, that lasts much longer than any earthly knowledge or wisdom we can gain. Um, I think his biggest takeaway from this verse 
is that having wisdom through God spiritually is what can grow you spiritually as well. And that is and comes back to baptism and um, being able to gain the Holy Spirit and being able to gain wisdom through the Holy Spirit. Um, and that's why a lot of this is all building blocks. And I know I'm, I have, and I will continue to put these in playlists so that they make sense together. Um, some of them I will refer to other papers in so that you can always go back and look and relate to that as well. Um, but I think as far as today goes, wisdom in itself, I think is something that we should all, um, be searching for. Uh, it's something that I pray about regularly to, um, or f from God is to give me wisdom, show me guidance, and um, basically be by my side while I'm on this journey. So I think wisdom in itself is one of the most important things that we can gain on this earth uh, through the Holy Spirit, through God, through Jesus. Wisdom is talked about thoroughly throughout the Bible. As you can see, there's plenty of verses that pertain to how important wisdom is more than and better than gold, um, riches, earthly riches mean nothing, but wisdom is everything. So I ask that you uh, take this and think about it. Um, I ask that you consider praying and thinking about gaining wisdom in your f near future, um, no matter if it's just reading your Bible more or researching um, into videos like this that talk about scripture-based um, topics like wisdom and knowledge. I think that's always great for us to grow. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. God bless. And uh, I also want to say that I do very much appreciate how much subscribes and uh, likes, comments I've received recently. I will uh, get to all the comments. I want to make sure that I answer them thoroughly and with scripture behind. So uh, I, I might take a little longer than just a couple hours, but I will give you an answer to your question that is thorough and hopefully meet your expectation. Um, other than that, thanks again. Truly appreciate all of uh, the support that we've had on this channel. My grandpa would be super proud to see his word out there and people um, listening to it the way they are. So thanks again and have a blessed day.